are going to do another Insta layer piece. This time this is lilac. She is beautiful. I'm sorry, that was probably very loud. So there's an Insta layer piece. And we're going to add Casablanca. I showed this to you as the bracelet in a previous episode. And these two look really great together. The Casablanca necklace, this one, is a statement piece, so it looks really great worn on its own. But by adding the lilac, it adds just another dimension. It almost makes it a little bit more casual than dressy. So that's another one. One that is more difficult to do is a larger statement necklace, like this. And I think a lot of people think more is better, and this is a case where more is not better. And while they do look good together, the, um, this one is called Brittany. Brittany and the lilac are really not so great together. A couple reasons why. There's a little bit too much going on. It's a little bit too much of a competition. The eye doesn't really know where to stop. I really like, do, like matching a red and a pink together with a purple. It brings another dimension, kind of the berry colors. It's very more fall or very summery. It's not really so much something that you would wear in the winter, but I would encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and definitely do wear something that is not in the current season. Anyhow, the reason these two don't go together is because it's way too much. It's weighing everything down. You need to have some sort of a gap in here, and it just fills in too much space. So this is in my opinion, an example of overdoing it. There are a few women that can pull it off. I am not one of them. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Layering 101. Stick around for Layering 201.